Semperviron fog belt redwoods. Now the fog belt in California runs from about the Oregon border to Monterey and about 25 miles inland. Without the fog, these big old trees could not survive, they could not exist. These trees do not have a needle, they have a leaf. The fog grows in those leaves the water and the fog grows in the water. That's the water supply for these trees. This grows, not a tree, but this grows of trees will be in about five we call this trees here these we call them the grandchildren because they're the third generation at one time standing here this is an old second generation that fell down but at one time this was all started by what we call grandma 
Grandma was about 3,000 years old when she departed. There's been two more generations, and what you're looking at there is the third generation. There are a bunch of youngsters, about six or 700 years old, still growing. The next <laughs> generation of redwoods are laying right outside there, and they're growing at about two feet a year for the next 80 years, about 160 foot growth spurt. Now, long before we ever got up here, this area was inhabited by a fellow called a Zianti Indian, and he was a pretty sharp, sure old cat. About every six to nine years, he would pick his family up, his home up, move it out of the forest, set the forest on fire, and let it burn. Man has learned that total preservation is not the answer. We got a real nasty lesson <laughs> up in Yellowstone about five or six years ago. When you let the ground cover get high enough and thick enough, when it burns, it's going to burn the trees. We don't burn anything here, but we do have crews of people that come up here every week from now until it starts to rain heavy again in October and November, clearing the brush away from the trees, pulling it back so we don't set the trees on fire. I told you these trees are about six or seven hundred years old. We know we've had fire in the past. Those big black stars, fire damage. But this old tree is a self-healer. As he grows, he will close over the opening in that tree, which is great. Except that meat leads us to believe that some of these big old huge trees may be halfway up, may be hollow, where they've closed over. As you can see here, they almost completely cover that fire damage completely. This is one big living organism of trees in here. The best way I've been told to explain the root structure of these trees, you look at these trees, you think, my lord, the roots must go halfway to China. They don't. It's a very shallow rooted tree. But the best way I've been told to explain it, everybody's seen the old feather ball, the pipe, the chain, the ball that the kids bat around. But at the bottom of it is normally a tire full of concrete. Same principle, big, white, thick, base, etc. The experts tell us that the root structure for this grove runs 50 or 75 feet to the other side of the railroad track and possibly 100 feet down into the canyon. So there it sits, great big, huge, interlocked root structure that holds these big trees up. These trees are about 250 feet tall. The tallest one we have is down by the trestle. It's 325 feet. I'll point it out to you when we go down. At this time in our speech, we used to say, but they have one up in Humboldt County, which is 380 feet high. About four weeks ago, we were notified that they now have the longest laying down, 380 foot redwood, and they're down at about 2,800 years old. You can't tell the age of these redwoods until you cut them. Okay, I'll give you plenty of notice. Be back on a train. I'll try to answer any questions you've got. The gentleman, I need you to sign a piece of paper for me. Now, I have one note of caution.
we figure out the genus ducks in the county. Right. Right. 